In this video, we're going to talk about measurements. And of course, you can get to the measurements through the menu um, pop up here, but there's also a measurements hard key on the front panel. And so if we start with the measurements hard key, you'll see that it pops into the measure menu. Um, you can have up to four measurements running at one time um, on the RTB 2000. Uh, one of the things that I really like is we go through and we describe what each measurement looks like. So when you go to change the type, you can see within each of these, it's going to show you know, a period measurement shows the time from, um, you know, the rising edge on one part of the uh, cycle to the rising edge on the other. Um, as you step through each of these tabs, you can see that they are kind of grouped together into basic measurements, vertical measurements, horizontal measurements, and then what we call count measurements, where you can find the number of different pulses that might be happening inside of um, a burst. So as we look at these, um, of course, you can come in and you can change the source as well. Uh, not only can you make measurements on the analog channels, um, you can also make it on math and reference waveforms too. Um, if we go ahead and enable this, um, that'll turn the measurement on. You'll see it pop up down here in the bottom left-hand corner. It'll designate that it's making that measurement on channel one. It'll tell you what the measurement is. You have a couple things that you can do then after that. And one of them is you can actually set the reference level um, for the measurement. And the reference level is going to depend kind of on the, the type of measurement that you're making. Um, but the nice thing is we allow you to come in and define um, exactly what you want for those measurements. Now it defaults to a 1090, which is pretty standard, um, but that's just something to keep in mind that you can um, change that. And then of course, if you want statistics on, there's a little uh, box right here to turn that on. You can see that we've now turned on statistics. And one of the things that I like is you can actually adjust the size of this information. So as you add more um, measurements, if you want to see more of the measurements and less of the waveform, we give you that control to be able to adjust that. And then something really powerful that we also offer from a measurement perspective is something we call quick measure, And that's a quick measurement and it's gonna pop in and it's going to make a number of different measurements automatically right off the bat. Um, it'll put those inside of the Graticule and so you can see exactly where it's reading out, um, exactly what the information is that it's reading um, and just a really powerful way to get um, a number of quick measurements pulled up that you can quickly see what's happening with your waveforms.